I seem to have dodged a little bit of a bullet here. I thought maybe I was in big trouble because I was having some problems. Uh, once I hooked everything up, nothing was working. And um, as I found out, it's this transformer rectifier assembly, and I'll show you here. Um, the transformer was giving out uh, its good 32, actually 38 volts AC. So it goes from 115 to, or 120 to 38 volts AC. And then it had this rectifier in here, and it was all inside this box. And the rectifier looked great. I kind of could see it from this perspective. I look over there, and gosh, it looks really pretty clean. No, no visible marks that really look bad or anything. So I was thinking, rectifier is great. I don't know what the problem is. And because I was getting, and I should tell you, I was getting um, 12 volts DC out of the rectifier. And that's kind of an interesting number. I thought, well, that's probably about right. Well, I hooked it up to all the motors. Couldn't get any of the motors to run. And so I dug into the manuals, and this, it was saying, was 32 volts uh, with the rectifier DC output. And so obviously I was way off. And I kind of checked some message boards and found out it really should be in the 32 volt range. So I pulled the rectifier off, and sure enough, when I could see it from a better perspective, you can see, hopefully, in this light, let's see if I can do this here. See how there's a bunch of this um, spray on. I, I think this is a selenium rectifier, and that's probably selenium there, maybe some paint over the top of it. And it's all starting to bubble up. And sure enough, um, in looking into it, as these things get old and the uh, it does start to separate a little bit, voltage starts de decreasing. So this thing is basically dead. So I went online and on Amazon I found these $2, two uh, bridge rectifiers with diode type, uh, real new. It can hold up to or can handle up to a thousand volts um, for seven dollars. So I feel like I dodged a great ball there because I was looking this up, thinking, well, maybe I need to buy a whole new one of these. And it was probably going to be somewhere around a hundred dollars or so to get um, the rectifier. Actually, the whole junction box and everything else is. In pretty good shape so I didn't want to do that if possible so anyway um, I have put this in and uh, went ahead and made it look all nice and I'm doing the same thing inside there I'll just kind of have this sitting in the inside the junction box like this and the other um, DC outputs connecting right on and it's giving me sure enough 32 volts DC and when I hook it up to the motors I went ahead and just ran some jumpers, they worked great. So I think I'm in pretty good shape. Uh, the interesting thing I was reading about is that if you get one of these, um, if you get closer to the voltage, lower voltage, like I could have gotten one that was 200 volts, that means less resistance. Um, and so you'll have a little bit higher voltage on the way out. Um, well, I didn't really want that because I have 38 volts out of this AC out of the transformer and I want 32 so I kind of was hoping I could find one that had a little higher resistance so I went with the one that was good for up to a thousand volts and it did go ahead and give me a pretty close number so I'm going to go ahead and go with it I think it's going to work great one thing is bad on this is that they they're not marked real well so you notice I had to make my own little markings on here and kind of test it out and figure it out the other side does have a print on it, and um, the way it is is that the DC inputs are opposite and the ACs are opposite. So they do have, go ahead and mark, I think, this side as one of the AC inputs. So I was able to kind of deduce, oh, and I guess this is the DC negative, it says. So I was able to kind of deduce, but that's one thing that's nice if you can find one that has it printed all the way around and you're not kind of spending more time on that. But anyway... So if you ever run into that problem with a bad bridge rectifier, an old Selenium 1950s rectifier, definitely you can go ahead and find um, a diode version, a newer version that will work great. Okay, thanks. Just wanted to show you a final view of it here. I went ahead and mounted it on this piece that came off the rectifier. So this was holding it before I took that off there and mounted that to the case. And now it's nice and sturdy in there, not going anywhere. These wires are all clean and, and nice. 
so I should get some points for beauty. 